All right, Patrick, thanks. This morning we continue our series, Coffee with the Candidates, to help you get to know the candidates running for office in the upcoming elections on a personal level. Joining us this morning is independent candidate for Lieutenant Governor Bob Healy. Thanks so much for being here this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. You know, Bob, you have been very vocal in, uh, in this particular position in general mm -hmm. and what you want to do if and when you make office. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Well, it's, it's pretty much a simple issue. I mean, I think we're wasting a million dollars a year running an office that's uh, function is redundant. We, we have people doing these types of jobs already, and this office particularly doesn't have any real function on its own, and I think it's time we either build something into it or get rid of it completely. So you think eliminating this position would, would streamline Rhode Island government and oh, save the Most taxpayer. definitely. A smaller government would be the, uh, the way to go with this. It saves you a million dollars a year. That's four million dollars on an election. And right now where people are at home eating their hot dogs and beans and tightening their belts, I mean, it's really important that we show in government what we're asking other people to do at home. I want to know a little bit about, you know, you're very well known for your position on that, but I, I'm wondering about your personal side. Do you like long walks on the beach, Bob? <laughs> candles. I, I, yeah. You like candles, yeah, that sort of thing. Puppies. What, what, <laughs> all those things. All those things. <laughs> what is something about, uh, about you that maybe voters don't know? Well, I, I think that uh, pretty much the voters have gotten to know me. I've mm -hmm. been around for 30 years, and I think that, um, you know, the public has seen a lot of it. I have a humorous side. I... I, I can tell. No, I do. I, I, I find humor in things, and sometimes my humor is a little obscure, but I enjoy that. And I enjoy writing and um, pretty much reading things like that. Mostly factual reading, not so much novels. You're not so. You're, so you're I don't not, read much no Daniel, Daniel Steele, Steel, right? Yeah, you got, you got the idea. <laughs> um, you know, in the final push of the campaign, what's your message to the voters? Well, the message is simple. I mean, we, we have a single issue campaign, which is pretty much important for, for the voters to get around. It is that this office is a waste of your tax dollars, and I can do this job, and I'll do it for no cost to the taxpayers. I'll, I won't take a salary. I won't hire a staff. I will still be the lieutenant governor if the need arises for me to step in. I have a background in law, uh, having practiced for 28 years. I have a background in education, having advanced degrees. And I've started two businesses that are very successful here in Rhode Island, uh, a liquor corporation, which is a multi-million dollar corporation, and a small restaurant. So I understand the needs. I think I understand the needs of the people of Rhode Island. Bob Healy, thanks so much for Thank being here Thank you very much for morning. having me. It's, it. it's fun. And if you'd like to learn more about Bob Healy's take on political issues, all you have to do is head to foxprovidence.com. Time now to get a check of the